Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page here, and guess what? I just got a Sam's Club membership, started shopping there for the first time, look at me go, what is happening to me? And I just came home with a huge haul of Sam's Club groceries. Do you wanna see what I bought and why? Well, let's do it, you know you do, I know you do, let's do this. You know, can I just say I feel a little bit like a trader. Many of you have known me for a long time. You know how I grocery shop, you know where I grocery shop, and you know that I'm a bit of a Costco expert. Well, it's time for me to expand my horizons. Sam's Club is kind of new to me. I'm still getting to know it. So I just thought before I put all these groceries away, why don't I lay them out, show you what I got and why. And then if you're interested, I would be more than happy to do a Costco versus Sam's Club opinion-based video, whether you need one, the other, or both. Would that be helpful? Let me know in the comments and I will work on that. Okay, first let me show you everything. It is barbecue season, entertaining season. We have been dangerously low on paper goods in our storage, and honestly, Costco has kind of been disappointing me lately. Our Costco doesn't even carry bowls anymore. I wash and reuse at home, but in terms of having like a neighborhood barbecue, that's not realistic, so it is important for us to have paper goods. So I went to Sam's Club, and honestly, I came home with a lot more than just paper goods. Now that you've seen a quick general overview of what I got, no cheating, why don't you leave in the comments how much you think all of this cost me. And in the end, I will tell you what I paid and we'll see how close you get, okay? All right, let's do it. Okay, let's start over here first because Joss keeps busting into my fruit and wanting it. One thing that was a little different about Sam's Club is that their milks are individual, not in duo boxes like they are in Costco. So I bought six of those. I got some fruit. One of the things I do like about Sam's Club is I feel like they had more produce options than Costco. They were smaller containers, some of them anyway, and sometimes I don't need a giant container of something, so that was kind of nice. I am going to make a big breakfast casserole and freeze dry it in our freeze dry machine. So I bought this. At Costco they have the Kirkland brand which are very nice hot dogs. They're also a foot long and I just don't need foot long hot dogs for my kids. I liked that they had the inexpensive family pack size. I love keeping these on hand because when Hutch shows up at my house with literally like 12 to 15 12 year olds and they're all starving, we will just throw a bunch of hot dogs on the grill and feed them affordably. So I like to have hot dogs on hand in the summer, no doubt. Mozzarella cheese. What I do is buy a big old bag and split them into smaller bags and freeze it. And I got this for pizzas that we will talk about in a minute. Tostadas, which, you know, a lot of this stuff you can find at Costco. I just grabbed this stuff while I was there. This was cool. I've never seen this at Costco. It's al pastor pork. $13 for almost four pounds. This would definitely feed us and another family, like if we had them over for dinner and did tacos. And this is raw, so what you do is you take it and then you cook it up on the stove and it just looks really good. So I will try this and follow my Instagram account to see how this tastes. Got some mandarin oranges just to keep on hand. Okay, paper goods. Now, as I mentioned, we were really, really low on paper goods. When I went to Costco recently, other than like big styrofoam or coffee cups, they had these red Chinette Solo cups, which are fine, but they're huge. And I just don't feel like my kids need huge cups like that, especially at neighborhood barbecues and stuff. You end up wasting a lot of drinks. So I like having a variety of sizes of cups. It cuts down on waste. Sam's Club had a bunch of options of cups. So these are 12 ounce cups. These are nine ounce cups, which I think are perfect for my younger kids. So I got a couple packages of those. Here's another 12 ounce package. And then these are five ounce cups, which again, are not only perfect for little, little kids for drinking, but also I will use these for little snacks for my kids. And then I did get one more thing of 12 ounce here. As you can tell, that's kind of my sweet spot. Okay, moving along to more paper goods. We're completely out of paper bowls because like I said, Costco, my Costco anyway, is not selling them right now. So I just grabbed several containers of bowls. I did buy some of these styrofoam ones as well. And these are 12 ounce bowls. Okay, coming over here to bread. You guys, you know what's so sad? The Costco's in my area anyway, are not doing dinner rolls anymore. They used to do big bags of rolls like this. They aren't going to do them again until around Thanksgiving time. So I was very pleased to see that Sam's Club has 
24 rolls for $3.32, which is a great deal. And they had a bunch of options. I was very impressed with their bakery section. Generally speaking, they have way more options than Costco does when it comes to their bakery items like rolls, cakes, cookies, desserts, stuff like that. So that was impressive as well. Because of the hot dogs, I got a bunch of buns. These keep forever in the fridge, or if you have space, you could put them in your freezer. So we just like chip away at these all spring and summer. We do pizza every Friday night. I will preface with saying it's always cheapest to make your own crust, always. But sometimes I need my kids to be a little more self-sufficient or I have a babysitter or we're in a rush and have a busy night. So these were great. It is five crusts, five pouches of sauce for $10. So basically for $2 a crust, you can make your own pizza and these are shelf stable. So you can leave them in your pantry until you open it and then you can freeze them for later. And now we have easy pizza crusts to pull out whenever we need it. You can also use these crusts to make your own naan bread. If you just want to brush it with garlic butter and put it in the oven for a minute, then it's almost like you have your own naan bread. So that's why I have this cheese and then I restocked on pepperoni, which pepperoni freezes really well. So I will actually take it out of this container, put it in a freezer Ziploc and just store my pepperoni in the freezer all the time. You can even bake them right on the pizza frozen. So that's where I store my pepperonis is in the freezer. Stocked up on some tortillas, which Costco does have. They have both of these. I just was there and I'm not going to do any other shopping over the next week. And so I just wanted to have these salads. One thing I found is their bags of salads seem smaller at Sam's Club than they are at Costco, but they were also pretty inexpensive. Like this bag was about $2 and something. We are having a family family over for dinner tomorrow. So I bought two bags to eat tomorrow for dinner and then one more bag for our family to eat later in the week as well. And it's nice that it has everything you need with it. Talked about those. I was really impressed that they had these. This is a huge pack of Bubba's English muffins. Less than $3 for this huge pack. These also freeze really well. So we love making breakfast sandwiches out of these. My kids love the sausage egg McMuffins from McDonald's, but I'd rather make them from home. So we do an English muffin lightly toasted. We do a sausage patty and an egg or a slice of ham instead of a sausage patty. And then you have your own breakfast McMuffins at home. I personally love smoked salmon on a bagel in the morning for breakfast or even taking some of the smoked salmon, putting it in the salad would be good for lunch. I love having this stuff on hand and it, it also freezes really Really well. Costco's apples tend to be pretty expensive. These Fuji apples ended up being 99 cents a pound at Sam's Club. I was very impressed. So I bought a package of those, watermelon, and then let's see. Okay, more paper goods down here. Guys, are you ready for my absolute secret weapon summer survival hack of a lifetime? Are you ready for this? Hot dog trays, that's all I can say hot dog trays. Costco sold these once upon a time. Our Costco's now no longer do. I had bought some from Amazon and I will link them below, but the best price and best options I have found thus far was at Sam's Club. These little trays come in handy all summer long. Why use an entire plate if you just have a kid that puts a few chips on it or a little bit of fruit or one hot dog? These trays are a perfect option for just a grab and go, small container, you don't need to waste an entire plate. It holds snacks, it can hold popcorn during a movie, it could be a little condiment tray, great for kids. So if you ever see those, grab them. These are really great for when you have a big barbecue. They are also great for freezer meals. If I'm cooking dinner, I will make one for now. I will double it and put the doubled recipe in here, put the lid on, write what the meal is and put it in the freezer for another time, which is a huge summer lifesaver because nobody loves to cook abundantly in the summer if you ask me. Another thing I love these trays for is when I'm contributing food to a potluck or a neighborhood barbecue. So last but very not least, the Sentos jumbo box of scented chalk. It's four boxes of 50 chalks. They're individually wrapped, so what's cool is you can pace yourself. This is especially fun to have in the spring and summer when the weather's nice. The other thing is whenever we are hosting a barbecue or a gathering, we always put chalk outside to give the kids something to do while the parents are sitting and chit-chatting after dinner. So this is something I'm a big fan of and I love that Sam's Club has it. Oh, no, I forgot. 
There's one more thing I need to show you. Oops, hold on. Sorry, I forgot that these got put in the fridge. Okay, I bought two huge packages of chicken drumsticks. They were between five and six dollars each. And I also bought two big packages of chicken thighs that were about the same. This package was $5.83. We're having some families to dinner, like I said, so we're just going to marinate that chicken and grill it all up. Half of it we'll eat right away, and half of it we'll just finish eating throughout the week or freeze it for another time, and then we'll have some yummy cooked barbecue chicken to pull out of our freezer anytime we need it. And if you're curious where I am right now, I am standing in the middle of our kitchen renovation. You guys, this used to be my kitchen. Can you even believe it? Do you even recognize it? Hmm, consider this a sneak peek coming soon. And yes, we have a fridge sitting in the middle of our abandoned empty kitchen. I promise there is a plan and it will look amazing someday. Follow me on Instagram to see updates. Okay, now that you've officially seen everything, pause this video and go write your guess. You know how this works, no cheating. Go tell me what you think I spent on all of this. Okay, and now the moment of truth, ready? Okay, for the 55 items I bought, I spent four forty-six seventy-two. So I was way over budget this week. My budget is normally about 250. Since I was stocking up on paper goods, it added up really fast, but that's okay. The way I make up for it is I will not go grocery shopping next week unless I run out of a few little things, such as milk, in which case I technically have I have $500 every two weeks, and if that was $446, I basically have about $50 that I could spend at the store next week on a few fresh things if needed. Okay, so what do you think? Do any of you guys shop at Sam's Club or Costco? Tell me which one you like better and why. If you do shop at Sam's Club, what are your favorite things to get there? What do I need to check out next time? Okay, I gotta go put all this food away. I will talk to y'all soon, bye. Jess, did you steal the blackberries? Open. Open, can I help you? Oh, yay. Yummy.